Hello everyone. Today we understand the graph theory. First of all, we understand what is a graph. You may know certain types of graphs, such as an example, like where we have an x-axis and y-axis, and then we draw some function, and we call that a graph. Or maybe you have seen graphs where you have some sort of a bar chart. But graph theory, we don't mean these things. So again, what is a graph? Well, let's be a little bit more precise to say what is a graph. A graph, a graph is an ordered pair GVE where V is a finite set of vertices, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and E is a finite set of edges. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and more. Every as is connected to the vertex. Next, number of vertex and number of edges represent the graph, where number of vertex is known as a order of graph, and number of edges in a graph it is known as a size of the graph. If we consider an example that have. Ten vertex A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J, and fifteen edges one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. So, this graph have order of graph is 10, and size of the graph is 15. Every graph have vertex and edges. If a vertex that connect the number of edges is known as a degree of vertex. Degree of vertex represent how much number of edges connected to the vertex? If there are four vertex A, B, C, D, and edges are one, two, three, four, and five, then degree of A is number of edges connect to the vertex A. So, there is degree of A is 3, degree of B is 2, degree of C again 3 and degree of D again is 2. In following example, in following example, if we add all the degree And check that there is 10 and number of edges are 5. They provide a relation between degree of vertex and number of edges by the handshaking lemma. Handshaking lemma is say that if a graph G have vertex V1, V2, V3, and so on in, in a specific order of degree, degree of V1, V2, V3, it is known as a degree sequences. And if we sum all the degree of vertex that equal to twice of the number of edges. Because every edges add two degree of vertex. For example, if we have if we have three vertex A, B, C. Right now, degree of vertex of A is zero, degree of vertex of B is zero, degree of vertex of C is zero. But if we increase one edges between A and B, then number of degree of vertex is plus one, degree of B plus one, and degree of C is zero. So every edges, so every edges create two degree. If we connect by one edge, then also increase one degree, and there is also a one degree. So we can say that sum of degree of all vertices 
is equal to twice the twice number of the edges. Now we discuss discuss some exercise. First question is analyze following sequences and consider a graph existence graph existence and the number of edges in the graph in a graph. For example, first is five five four three two two one. If the sum of the degree is even, it means there should be a two even numbers or at least two odd numbers. There is no space for odd degree of vertex in odd manner. There always odd degree of vertex should be in even manner. So first of all, we check the degree of vertex. The degree of odd vertex are in even manner or not. There is five five three one. Is in quantity is four, so it is exist. So we try the number of edges. We know that two e is equals to the total number of degree of vertex. That is five plus five plus four three plus two plus two plus one is equals to twenty four. So number of edges is twenty four upon two is equal to twelve. So this graph exists that contain twelve edges and eight vertex. And further, you check for all these sequences is exist or not, and the number of if it is exist, then check the number of edges. And same for next questions. Thank you. See you next time.